Good morning. I am Devi Sena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about interworking schemes to connect WLANs and 3G networks. Interworking schemes to connect wireless local area networks and 3G networks. Basically, interworking schemes can be categorized as mobile IP approach, gateway approach, and emulator approach. Now we'll start discussing about a mobile IP approach. Mobile IP approach, it is also called as loose coupling approach. It introduces mobile IP to two networks. Mobile IP mechanisms can be implemented in the mobile nodes and installed on the network devices of 3G and WLANs. Here is the architecture of the mobile IP approach. UE represents user equipment, AP represents access point, RNC represents radio network controller, 3G SGSN represents 3G serving GPRS support node, 3G GGSN represents 3G gateway GPRS support node, FA represents a foreign agent, HA represents home agent. This mobile IP approach provides mobility for roaming between 3G and WLANs. However, this approach requires installing mobile IP devices such as a home agent and a foreign agent in both the networks that is between 3G and WLANs and terminal devices should also implement mobile IP features. Since the user device requires sending the registration back to its home network, packet delay and loss are also a problem for handoffs. Moreover, this approach suffers from the triangular routing between the networks if the mobile IP does not support route optimization. Next, we are going to discuss about the architecture of a gateway IP approach. The gateway approach introduces a new logical node to connect to wireless networks. The new node is located between the two networks and acts as an internal device. It exchanges necessary information between the two networks, converts signals and forwards the packets for the roaming users. Here is a representation of architecture of gateway approach. Here, in between that wireless LAN and the host, we have connected a gateway. Let us discuss about this gateway approach. Now, this gateway IP approach aims to separate the operations of two networks, which implies the two networks are peer-to-peer -peer networks and they can handle their subscriber independently. With the two network operators having a roaming agreement, the logical node helps the two networks offer inter-system roaming. The advantages of this approach are that the two networks can be operated independently. Packets for roaming users go through the node without processing by mobile IP and handoff delay and loss can be reduced. The third is architecture of the emulator approach. The emulator approach it is also called as tight coupling approach uses WLAN as an access stratum in a 3G network. This approach replaces 3G access stratum by WLAN layer 1 and layer 2. Here is a representation of architecture of the emulator approach. A WLAN access point can be viewed as a 3G network controller or a serving GPRS support node that is SGSN. The benefit of this approach is that mobile IP is not required here. All packet routing and forwarding are processed by the 3G PP core network. 
the packet loss and the delay can be reduced significantly by this emulator approach. However, this approach lacks flexibility since two networks are tightly coupled. The operators of the two networks should be the same in order to exchange much information. Another disadvantage of this emulator approach is that the gateway GPRS support node that is GGSN will be the single point to the internet. All packets have to go through the GGSN first. GGSN and the core network become the bottleneck. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. If you like this lecture means kindly share this video to your friends. For further updates kindly subscribe my channel. Thank you.